this is also with a new process video. Do you remember the dandelion layout that I did when I talked about the importance of even placing these just the beautiful photos, the everyday photos of beautiful things in your album? And uh, yeah, uh, two videos ago. Now I'm doing just the same again, but this time it's a photo of a bumblebee uh, who is just feeding uh, around my uh, uh, flowering uh, bush that we have in our garden and uh, my idea for this photo is the same with that with the dandelions i have a pretty photo i want it in my album and this is going to happen <laughs> so uh, here i'm just kind of um, spinning on the fact that there are lots of papers in this collection that has flowers and growth in it and uh, you know the bumblebees they are going pretty much extinct or they are uh, getting fewer and fewer and i felt that this is something that i need to meditate on and what to do about this because they are so important in our world and uh, uh, in our garden we have a lot of flowering trees and I guess lots of people could do that but the most important thing is of course that we don't poison these uh, little fellows with the things that we put on our crop and uh, yeah I'm an environmental <laughs> crazy person so, so, so this is very 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 dear to me as a scrapbooking project this will be a way for me to use up some of the pieces that i have left uh, from this collection uh, when i'm done with the whole series i will do a kill kit video just to show you how thorough i've been in using every little piece of this collection it's quite fun i have just now when i'm narrating this i have just finished the kit and i've recorded the the video footage of what i have left and it's not much <laughs> hmm? i've matted the photo a couple of times i th i felt that i had I, I had a possibility and, and the, some of these papers with a script for example I, I didn't feel that I wanted to use it as a whole so it was perfect for matting and it gave a lot of detail when it comes to, to just that little sliver that is showing from behind the photo. Today I'm going to use uh, some of these stickers from the sticker sheets and I'm going to spell my title with the stickers from this sticker sheet. I'm going to move around those little tabs that I place above the photo block. I'm going to move those around quite a bit and it, I don't even think that on this video how it eventually <laughs> became uh, at the end. But uh, at the end of the video I, I should show you the, the layout, how it turned out eventually. I, I remember that I moved stuff even when I had finished filming and uh, that's just those little things that when you look at a project which you have already finished and then you just feel that no that's that's out of place I need to do different the title or the main word of the title will be humlan and it's the Swedish word for bumblebee and uh, then I'm going to to add to that with a couple of words with smaller stickers. Now I'm starting with those. <laughs> those will be moved around quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy taking photos like this and, and it, those would be perfect to just, I post them on Facebook and I, I yeah, I look at them and, and just <laughs> feel that oh wow the, this is this is cool i have taken such a nice close-up or whatever it is but but then it doesn't become much more than that i don't share these kind of photos of in, on instagram for example because i only need want my crafting um, photos to go there so i i felt that i really wanted to 
kind of work with these photos a bit more and get them into my album, even though they aren't specific happenings in our lives. This is a photo that I can take every summer, just like those of the dandelions. But yeah, this was the summer I took them. <laughs> and I will take different photos next time. But they are still wonderful and they, I think they express something, a state of mind. This particular day I was in, in the bushes l looking for for bugs. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a state of mind when you actually go to do those things. <laughs> Just like sitting on the porch blowing a dandelion. Yeah, <laughs> that's a special mindset you have when you do that. And and I think that mindset is captured with my, my layout. Uh, the word that I'm adding right now, it is li lilla, like small. So the entire title will be work on lil bumblebee. And uh, the, the work part there is the one that I've written with the yellow um, round uh, stickers from October afternoon. These small stickers, they are puffy stickers, sticker hearts. I bought those from uh, AliExpress, like the Amazon um, over there in China. And uh, sometimes I, I just browse their inventory and uh, I found, find something fun uh, that is very low cost. And uh, that was just one of those finds. Uh, a, a sheet of stickers that I couldn't come across over here. And uh, to give this project a little bit more uh, detail and uh, some fun uh, addition, uh, I've, I'm splashing some Heidi Swap uh, color shine uh, yeah, here and there, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and and I, I feel that it gave something really nice and, and organic and a little bit of leaf feeling to the whole project. Hmm? Hope you, that you enjoyed this one and uh, I'll be back soon. Take care. This is Osa. Bye.